good morning um, and Happy New Year to you all. I am live this morning to share with you a little card I came up with um, in my head. I haven't actually totally made it yet, um, but I'm going to use Darling Donkeys, which i um, not sure if this is backwards for you or not, but you'll see it properly when I go down. Um, it's a cute little set with some gorgeous little donkeys, um, which is one of our celebration sets this year. This all goes live tomorrow. Our new catalogue, um, the mini catalogue will be launched tomorrow. And the Darling Donkeys is one of the free sets that you can get. So if you spend £45 or, or more um, with the, well, with any Stampin' Up! products, clearance rack, um, annual catalogue or the new mini catalogue, um, Darling Donkeys is one of the free sets that you can acquire, one of the level one free sets. So I'm going to make a little card featuring that. So just waiting till a few more of you pop on before I point you down and show you what I've come up with. Um, I hope you like it. And I will just get started. Hi, oh Gloria, you're up. How are you? Happy New Year to you. I um, hope you are well. hope you had a great Christmas. Um, I'm sure if like on this side of the world, it might have been a little quiet, but I um, hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, so I'm going to point you down and show you uh, my cot. Okay, so hope I don't have too much glare on that. So, so we're going to use Darling Donkey or Darling Donkeys. So I'm going to start with a um, card base of Bermuda Bay. So you might guess that what I'm going to use um, is some of this free celebration paper that I've shown you before. This is also a level one product, so it is free with a purchase of 45 pounds or more. You get 48 sheets of this, it's called Oso Ombre. So we have Bermuda Bay and Rococo Rose. And then we also have the Blackberry Bliss with the Granny Apple Green. And then I don't have very much of this left, but we have the dotty side, which again, the same colors and the Bermuda Bay one. And then what am I missing? That's it. So we have the dotty sides and then the plain ombre sides. So I thought when I was looking at this sheet of uh, DSP that it looked, it could look quite like a sky. So I thought I would set my little donkeys on a sky, kind of cloudy, blue sky sort of background. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do first. So I'm going to put a background of white on this, just a standard, um, I keep a little stash of these pre-cuts, so a standard uh, mat of Whisper White. And then I am going to take uh, my, where are they? I haven't got them down. Anyway, I'm going to take my, um, maybe I'll do one a little bit smaller actually. Yeah, that size. My stitched rectangles and I'm going to cut out um, a rectangle out of this DSP. So let me just do that first. And then I'm also going to take the curvy dies and I'm going to take some granny apple green and cut the same uh, rectangle from Granny Apple Green. Then I'm gonna go back with my curvy die and cut a little hillside. So let's just do that. So excuse me a moment while I crank up the old um, die cutting machine over here and get a stitched rectangle cut for you. So I'm going to do the same with the granny apple green and cut a hillside. Okay, so there is my sky and then I cut out the, I had a stitched rectangle prepared already and I've just used that curvy die. So as you see, once we've got little dots or we have the blade. So you, I could have had the dotty side, but I decided just to go for the straight edge of the blade. So let's put that together. 
And let me just find my glue. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hillside here. Okay, so that's sort of my clouds more up at the top. And then I've glued, adhered my Whisper White already. In fact, there's a little mark on that, so I might just change that. I'll use that for the inside. Um, And there's my white mat. Then I've got my little um, landscape here. And then I'm going to take out of the donkeys. I could have him running down the slope or I could have him sliding down the slope. Hmm. I think I'll have the little sitting one and I'll have him going for a slide. I've taken him out already, actually. He's out somewhere. Oh, yeah, he's here. Okay, so I'm going to take a scrap of white and I'm going to colour him in with my blend. So I'm using Memento ink, which is a water-based ink. Because obviously my blends are alcohol markers and I don't want the colours to run. So we use water-based ink for alcohol markers and the other way around if I were going to watercolour. Now, shall I do him grey or brown? I think I'll have him a brown donkey. The last donkey I coloured in was grey. And let's have this one crumb cake. So bear with me as I try and find my crumb cake markers. There's the dark one. And just taking And then I'm going to use the ivory, which should be out. That's smoky slate. <coughs> ah, there's the ivory. Okay. I'm going to use the ivory for his little nose and maybe a little bit of his ear. So I can do that bit first. So this ivory would be normally used as a skin tone. Let me see, would they have? Oh, okay, I don't know if they do or not. I can't remember what sort of shade of hooves donkeys have, but mine is going to have, <laughs> mine's going to have that shade. So I'll use the dark crumb cake for his hair. And then a little bit of his tail. And then just some highlights here and there. I will admit I am not the best colourer in her, um, but usually with blends they it looks you can't really go wrong. Okay so that'll do for the dark and then I'm just going to go back in and blend that in with my light and try and get rid of the um, sharp lines. The donkeys are really so cute. I love the expressions on their face. They're quite squeaky. <laughs> There's lots of sound effects. If you have a class. Back in the day when we could have classes be lots of sound effects when people were doing the colouring. I will show you. I did, oops, colour in a little grey one. So that's how he looks in grey. Um, but he's still quite cute in the brown. I might go back just a little bit more 
shading. Oh, gosh, didn't know that happened. Pulled out a bit stiff, a bit tight. Okay, so just a little hint of um, extra shading. Just where I think the shadows would be, but I mean, an image this this small, it's not hugely necessary, but and then just blend that in so you can't see the harsh lines. Okay, that'll do. So I'm just going to take my paper snips and cut him out. So again with the paper snips you tend to, as you're cutting, depending if you're right or left handed, I'm right handed so the scissors would be in my right hand and then I hold the image in my left and I kind of turn the um, turn the image as I'm cutting with my left hand. So my right hand pretty much stays, certainly stays in the same position. And that um, would limit the kind of choppy saw marks, if you like saw marks. Just the choppiness of when you're cutting something with scissors, the little marks that you can get it's a much smoother cut when you um kind of do it like this hope that makes sense so i hope you all had a nice christmas ours certainly was pretty quiet to be honest our christmases are quiet anyway we either go to Ireland or we stay here. Obviously, we didn't go anywhere this year, so we stayed here. Um, so that meant we don't have a lot of family to visit, but we did get a new grandson. He arrived quite late, but he arrived on the 23rd of December. So that was an early Christmas present. Um, and lovely little arrival and I actually used Darling Donkeys on his kind of welcome card because they are very cute they're pretty good for children's cards in general um, or anybody that likes sort of novelty cards because they are very cute my kids certainly love them anyway but they're big kids, small kids. I mean, who couldn't resist him? He's so cute. Okay, so um, let me see. See, look at him going wee <laughs> down the hill. Okay, I'm gonna raise that up on dimensionals just for a little bit of interest. Let me get my dimensionals. And that's the side, the Rococo Rose side, which is very pretty as well. I just take the backing off of that. As I said, really the only difference, apart from not seeing very much family over Christmas, was our lead up to Christmas was very quiet. So all the things that we would normally have done with the kids um, to prepare for Christmas, things weren't open or the Christmas itself was similar-ish. Actually, do you know what I might do? I might, I might do a little bit of background actually with these little stars. If they are stars. I'll just do that first, just to give a little bit of um, extra input to the back. Or the back, the background. So I'll just do um, 
bottom left and top right. Let me see how that looks. Yeah. So I'll add the, my landscape. I'm going to have a little donkey at the top of the hill sliding down. And now my glue has decided not to come out. Hold on. Here we go. Ooh. Where are my tweezers? Here we go. And we have dogs barking in the background. Okay. Let's try not to get my tweezers all gluey. Okay, and then I think we will do a, it's your birthday. And I might have a hee haw, it's your birthday. <laughs> hmm, no, maybe not, just it's your birthday. I haven't used these ones yet, so they don't have the stickers on. I'll just put the sticker on in this one. So this way around, peel off the backing. And then that way around. You can see what I'm doing. I just line that up approximately where it should be, place it down, peel it back off and the sticker is on. Now, where's the little thin one? Here it is. I'm just in the middle of preparing for my weekly classes. So uh, my desk is fairly messy as I'm cutting um, all my card bases and all the elements I need. I do cards in a cuppa um, online, obviously, because here where I'm living, I'm tier four and we can't have any... Um, meetings as such. So I am doing my classes online and I am, um, what am I trying to say? I'm doing two cards a week. It costs five pounds and I send you out all the elements that you will need to make your card. So that's the card base, the all the punched out pieces, uh, any DSP, any embellishments, the envelope of course. You would just need um, a stamp set at home to maybe have some sentiments. Um, but everything else I will send out to you in the post um, and we meet on my private Facebook group at 12 o'clock on a Friday and I repeat the class at 9.35 on a Sunday morning. So you have two opportunities or two times, whichever suits you, to pop along, and it's more fun, it's good fun, and I would love to see you there if you fancy joining. Today's the last day to book for this week because I will post the, the um, kit site later today, so just if you fancy joining us, let me know as soon as you can. Okay, so I'm just going to cut off a little piece of Bermuda Bay. I'm sure that's plenty big enough. And I will, I'm going to emboss it on white, I think. Oops, so I've just pretty much cut one that's there or thereabouts big enough. Um, just now looking to see where my bursa mark is. Oh yeah, I'm going to put it I'm going to be doing some embossing this week, so it's in my class tray. So I'm going to use a little bit of embossing buddy, which unfortunately we don't carry anymore, but um, most craft shops have that type of thing. So just going to emboss, add a little greeting. And then I'll emboss that in white. That's a little bit skew up, so I might... Oh, I'll have to cut another little bit because I was, was wondering why it was sticking. <laughs> um, that looks 
two centimeters. There we go. Oh no. That now. Actually, I'll just get a new piece altogether. That's the roll. Here's another little scrap. Okay. Okay, let's go again. A little bit of embossing, buddy. A little bit of Versamark. And. Where are you? That's still skew with. I'll go again. It is straight on. I'm going to have to just move it down a little bit so I can see when I'm doing it. Otherwise, I'm going to keep getting it crooked. That's, that will do. Okay, so. Okay, so I need some white embossing powder, which is here. And I will lift this up with my tweezers if I can. And then I'm going to just use my heat tool, so pardon the noise. Okay, now what I might do, <clears throat> I'll just snip the side of that and then no, I had some white twine out. Where did I put that? It's not in my class box. Hmm. I'll just use some linen thread. My donkey's brown anyway. I'll just tie a bow on the end of this. It's always got to be a bow. <laughs> Even if it's only twine. I may not like this, might take it off, but we'll see how it looks first. Oh, stuck. I don't know. What do you think? With or without bow? I'm thinking maybe without, actually. No, don't like it. I think I'll go without and I'll maybe add a gem of some sort. So that, a little bit like that, maybe. So I will put a dimensional just to keep it level um, with the rest of the card and then a little bit of glue on that side and let's see what gems I could add. So I'll go over the edge of the slope and let's see. One of these might be nice. Just a little one, yeah. Or will we go for white? Let's try the white, see what it looks like. Hmm, white or clear? Gloria, what do you think? White or clear? Are you still there? Are you still with us? <laughs> oh, I've looked. 
I've lost now the gem and the glue dot. <coughs> oh no, there's a glue dot. Oops. I managed to pick this up without the glue dot. Ah, come back. Actually, I think it's nice like that. Okay, so that is my card for you this morning. It's, it's pretty simple. Just a little die cut of the DSP and have my little um, donkey sliding down the, the hilltop. Um, so these are the other donkeys. As you can see, we've got this little cute one. Oh, you like the white? Yeah, me too. Woohoo! <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> um, I've got this one kicking. I've seen some great... It's a bit late now, obviously, but some great um, cards for New Year where this donkey was kicking 2020 goodbye and welcoming in 2021. So we've got this little one with, he's got a, a tulip or a rose, maybe, rose in his mouth. And then we've got that little donkey. But he, he's very, very cute. And he is, um, this set is free with a £45 purchase during celebration. Our celebration celebration is a little shorter this year because we are actually going to have two. So instead of our initial um, celebration period lasting from January right through to the end of March, um, it's going to end this year at the end of February. Um, but we will have another one again later in the year in the summer months, which is great news. Um, but until the end of February, this one, this little set, is free with 45 purchase, as is the um, Oso Ombre paper. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this morning's card. It was a pretty quick and simple one, um, but using some bright, certainly non-Christmas colours to um, finish up uh, the Christmas season. So I'm just going to pop back up to you. Okay. Um, oh, my stand is about to fall but I hope you enjoyed today's card um, and if you are in the UK or actually in France or Germany too and if you Austria Netherlands if you want to join in on my cards in a cup of class this weekend this Friday or Sunday um, then do let me know it costs five pounds and I will post out the um, all the supplies needed for you to make the cards and we'll meet on my Facebook group and we'll make the cards together. You'll just need a stamp set and an ink of your own to complete the cards, but everything else will be in your kit. And I look forward to seeing you on Friday or Sunday. And I'll see you next Monday for another quick and fairly simple um, card that we'll make together. All right, enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of your week. Take care, bye.